Welcome back to Artec. In today's video, we're going to review the Mitravi 1350A digital AC DC clamp meter. Please do subscribe and help support the channel. If you haven't already checked out their website, do check out metravi.com. They have professional grade instruments for all your industrial and research and electronic needs. So this is the Metravi DT1350A. So this is an AC as well as a DC clamp meter. It also doubles up as a multimeter. I'm listing out the specs here. Do feel free to pause the video if you'd like to read. It's not the smallest clamp meter, weighs in just under 350 grams. The jaw opening is about 60 millimeters. It's suitable for conductors up to 40 millimeters in diameter. It has a backlit LCD display and does have 500 volt DC as well as AC protection on all ranges. Enough said, let's have this open. Inside, there is a beautiful pouch and I can see what looks like a user manual. Yep, it's a nicely printed, good quality paper color manual. Has everything listed neatly inside. This carrying pouch feels premium and it should be given that this is a fairly expensive instrument. Inside we have the clamp meter with all the cables. What stands out here is the temperature probe. This clamp meter can also check your temperatures, which also has this heat proof sleeving all over. These are the test leads. These are really good quality test leads. They're highly insulated. Just look at the way these appear. I mean, they're rated at 1000 volts, certified CAT3, have protection for the lead tips as well. And this is on both sides of the cable. This instrument feels solid. Holding it in your hand and you can tell this is built well. It's very sturdy, very easy to handle. And it's not like something which will slip off your hand when you're holding it. The jaw opening mechanism feels very strong. So this 1350 features a very traditional look. If you look at it, it's got this rotary dial in the middle. And uh, this display is also pretty nice. It's large. Pretty neat, classic, minimalistic design. At the back, you have this battery compartment. Opening up the screw will reveal two AAA batteries, which you need to use. These are provided by the company. The 1350A will also do temperature. So it's available in two models. This one supports the temperature. So this is the extra bit. So this 1350 doubles up as a regular multimeter to read your regular capacitance, resistance, you know, diode functionalities, uh, continuity check for circuits, and also measures voltages in AC and DC. There's a hold button on the right side of the device, which lets you lock a particular reading. So just turning this thing on. Being a professional device, this is built for taking larger readings. So the sensitivity can be adjusted for the amperes between 1000 amps to about 200 amps. So if you're looking at readings below this, I would say this is not the right instrument because you know it's, it's good for bigger numbers. It does measure lower numbers though, so we'll come to that in a bit. Now the LCD display, I don't think I have any problem reading this in regular light, but if you do hold the button on the right for some time, the backlight will stay on for some seconds and it helps you take down readings in low light. The temperature probe here is a thermocouple device. It indicates uh, polarity on the probes, uh, so you'll have to put it in the same polarity in the instrument. And this has a very nice firm fit. This cable is pretty long, should be about a meter. Connecting these uh, test leads to the device, Let's do some basic testing here. Of course, this is a professional instrument and if you really need to take some high readings, this is the best thing you can probably use. My home runs on a 250 volt AC power supply. This does show the readings accurately over here. 
uh, the next easiest thing for me to do is just show you a quick continuity check so this is a simple test where you touch the two leads and it tells you that they're in contact so it helps you check continuity of circuits so these are cool i mean if you have a diode you can check the you know, functionality of a diode you can also you do the capacitance as well as voltage checking for any other device you have now the main functionality of this device is amperes let's make use of those clamps checking how much my home is drawing so this is the bus bar in my house right now it's drawing about 9.5 amps that's about 250 volts into 9.5 amps so which means that's the amount of power it's actually drawing at the moment i also did a few other checks with smaller devices in the, in the house like the mixer so it takes about 0.7 amps when it's on no load the pc which i use consumes such little power 0.3 to 0.4 amps when it's on idle and when i actually run something heavy like the video editing tool power consumption goes up to about 0.4 to 0.5 amps maybe even 0.6 so this is a good way to understand the power draw for some of the instruments in your house you need to build a custom rig to make this work because you need the live wire which is separated out so that you can clamp it in so without this you can't actually do this so moving on to something interesting i have this adjustable power vacuum cleaner which uh, on no load you notice that it's taking about 4.9 amps it's got this uh, adjustable power set, so which means if I increase the suction power to maximum, it gains about 6.3 to 6.5 amps. So that's the nice. maximum. So this is a good indicator that you know this thing is really sensitive. The meter is helping you understand how much power is being drawn by some of your household electrical devices. Now for the DC amps measurement. I like to straight away jump into my car, I clamp this module just after my uh, battery, positive terminal. And right now the ignition is on, but I haven't started the car. And it shows that it's consuming about 3 amps DC. When I put the headlights on, I saw that the power did go up a bit. A DC clamp meter is a must if you're into DC devices and DC voltage. Uh, stuff. If you have an electric vehicle, this is a really handy device to check how much of voltage your DC EV is actually drawing. As this has also got a DC voltmeter, it helps you check DC voltages easily. Now the interesting part, we test the temperature module. Now this is a test lead. It also measures ambient temperature when you just keep it up outside. For this test, I have a small candle flame that we can check temperatures off. So this lead is so sensitive. The moment I just move this over the flame, you can see the readings just going all over the place. In a fraction of a second, it jumped to say about 300 degrees at one point. So that's a lot. So this Metravi 1350A is a well calibrated device. And for those of you in industries or research purposes, will find it really useful. With a sturdy build quality and a solid backlit display, and a large voltage and amp measure capability, you can't go wrong with it. Highly recommend this device. I'll leave links in the description below in case you want to buy one of these. If you like this video, please do hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. So thanks so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.